What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my first subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, cast to beside you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do. Um, it's early, 7.28 a.m. I just got up, but I got channeled, so I'm going to deliver it. I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so the channel message I received was someone was trying to get, um, was hoping that you were worried about them and um, hoping that they would get in your head um, and cause you mental strife. But through many series of chain events, the energy is about to completely boomerang back upon them, and they are about to have severe mental strife. They have caused you severe heartache in the past, um, tried to publicly humiliate you, but they are about to be publicly humiliated, is what I heard. What is wrong with these people? I'm just saying, whoever this is for, I'm serious. These people, they, I guess they don't believe in doing the right thing, obviously. Oh my God, this is terrible. So they wanted to cause you mental strife and you heartache and they wanted you to be all up in your head like nine of swords, stress, anxiety, worry, and fear. But they, it's about to boom right back upon them. They are about to have stress, anxiety, and worry, and fear. It's probably because they've done something to you or to somebody else in the past. Probably you, if this resonates for you, because they want you to be worried. They want you to be in mental grief. Why would you wish that upon anybody? Honestly, they deserve to be like that if that's what they wish upon you. Because you, you shouldn't wish that upon anybody. And that's just the truth. That's terrible is what that is. That's freaking terrible. These people, I hope they get some therapy or counseling and evaluate why the hell they wish this upon somebody else. And that's just the truth. Because you shouldn't. That's very unhealthy and very toxic. So I heard they're about to start having mental health issues, stress, anxiety, worry, uh, fear, and grief, basically. Um, they want you to be in mental health issues. They want you to be worried. They want you to be stressed. They want you to have all these negative things. But they're about to have these things. because they. W I think it's because they wish it upon you. So now it's about to negatively boomerang upon it, back upon them. And honestly, I think it's because of the life choices these people have made, too. And I'm just being real. I think it's because of the, it's some of the life choices these people have made. Um, it is what it is. I say my damn self, and that's just the truth. And then I'm going to get the hell out of here. And that is the truth. That's for me. I can't speak on myself. I mean, I, I can only speak on myself. I can't speak on anybody else. This is terrible. Spirit messages here, have a The lovers reverse. Five of swords reverse. A twin flame charade in the past has blown up. Blown up. It was a whole facade. A twin flame, a twin flame charade has blown up, blown up. It was a whole facade. Is what I heard. I think I might title this video that. A twin flame charade and facade has completely blown up. Is what I heard. Uh, blown up. So double deuces confirmation is blown up. Meaning facade and charade. It was all a act. It was all an act. It was all a falsity. It wasn't what it seemed to be. I think two people were masquerading as twin flames or somebody claimed somebody was somebody's twin flame and they really are. They were just saying it for money, clout, fame, or status. You should never do that. You should never take the whole twin flame journey 
and make it a money-making tool. And I feel somebody did. They did in a huge way. And they are about to experience huge money loss and karma because of it. Okay, so somebody did. Somebody took the twin flame journey and they basically made a mockery out of it. They made a mockery out of it and um, somebody did. A masculine energy. A masculine energy. A masculine energy took the twin flame journey and basically made a bunch of money off of it. So I think they claimed somebody was their twin and they're really not. Like a false twin. And I think they probably bullied, harassed, gang stalked, and targeted you, false twin, is what I feel. Ma'am or sir. You mean ma'am or sir. Um, and I'm serious. I think they humiliated you, possibly. Bullied, targeted, harassed, gang stalked, humiliated you. Claimed you were their twin. I just want to say this. If you really are somebody's twin, you would never bully, harass, target, gang stalk, or humiliate them in any shape, form, or fashion. Because you, your true twin, you really... that. That's your person, person, person. That's your person. That's the person you want to be with. You would never want to humiliate them. Never want to bully, harass, target, or gang stalk. You would never want to do anything negative to that person. You would want to just build them up, grow them, manifest them, or help build them up, grow, and manifest them. So y'all can, y'all can grow and manifest separately and then be able to come together in a twin flame union. That's how it's supposed to be. The twins growing in separate unions away from each other to grow and manifest themselves in positive copacetic manners and then be able to come back together healed and both financially fit and stable and independent and be able to live together in a twin flame union. Whoever this person is, they slandered or defamed or Bully to target to harass or humiliated their false twin because it wasn't their real, real twin. Because if it was their real twin, they would have never wanted those negative intentions on that person. And I feel it's you they did this to. I mean, we're pulling lovers reverse, five of swords reverse, two of wands reverse. Yeah, definitely false twin flame energy. That's sick. Five of Swords reverse, two of Wands reverse. This is six, 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 six. You were a huge gift to them, and they took it and smashed it in the mud. Now they have to clean up the mess they made. Okay, I heard you were a huge gift, but they took took you as a gift, and they basically took you and smashed you in the mud. Not, I don't think, literally smashed you in the mud, but I think he tried to humiliate you, or did humiliate you, or um, bully, target, harass, or gang stalked you, or steal from you, or frauded you, or something. Um, smashed you in the mud, metaphorically, meaning they took you like a piece of trash and just put you to the wayside. Uh, I feel they made fun of you. Um, exactly what I think. I think they probably humiliated you or tried to humiliate you and basically just took the whole twin flame journey as a joke, but but to you, to you, because you're their false, because they really didn't care about you. But they made others think you were their twin for strictly money-making purposes. But it's like a double life because you really, in real life, they were doing things behind the scenes to um, make life negative for you. But in the whole scope of things in their life, they were making money off you. It's like a double life. Please don't take anybody uh, back like that, you guys. Please don't. Please don't. Because that's not a real twin. And that's just the truth. Mm. Number seven could be very significant number in one's life. Number seven, message upright.
You are about to receive communication soon. One about someone going to, uh, going to jail, char uh, charges being pressed, several charges. Some, it's your false twin. Some, it was someone conspiring with your false twin. We've had a lot of jail in here recently, so you plug it in how it resonates. So, for some, you're about to receive communication, message upright, communication. Some about your false twin going to jail. Some about someone conspiring with your false twin about to go to jail. Um, I didn't hear the charges. I heard charges, though. Two or two plus charges. Um, whatever the, they are. But they've done something terrible to you or somebody they are connected to. Um, whether it was something they did to you to make the charges be pressed upon them or somebody else. But... You're about to receive communication, jail energy. Uh, some is your false twin. Somebody was somebody that was um, um, co like conspiring with the false twin um, to do something um, to you, whoever you are, and how this applies. Okay, this is sick. This is sick. And for one, you're going to receive communication from someone you never would have never expected in your community regarding the past. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. And for one of you guys, you're about to receive communication of someone in, in your community, I heard, um, about the past. Um, it's about to benefit you in a huge way. And I think you're a main female. I think you're fem energy or masculine takes on fem energy. Um, how that resonates, it applies. But... Um, it's someone you would have, would have never expected in your community. Hopefully, they're not a karmic to you. Um, and, of course, if they have been a karmic to you in the past, you would identify if they were a karmic. You know how people have treated you in the past. Only, I mean, only you know your story better than anybody else. So, you know who how people have treated you in the past. You do. So, of course, you would identify if these people are karmics to you or not. Hopefully, it's somebody in your community that hasn't treated you terribly, hopefully. Uh, there's abuse of power out there all the time. There's abuse of, period. There's defamation of character. There's slander. There's lies. There's abuse of power. There's people's motives. They just outstand me. And that's, that's just the truth. They just outstand me. I mean, hell, I've just been a single mother trying to raise my kids for five years in a crazy-ass community. And that's just the truth. I'm not saying I'm perfect. God knows I've had some crazy-ass exes in the past, but it's those exes have been a long, long, long time ago. A long time ago, and I've been single, like single, single, single for me personally for about almost four years now. Almost four. Like, no sex. Like, almost four. Single, single has been like six or seven years. And that's just the truth for me. Now, I can only speak on me, not anybody else. But but I do that for reasons, because I wanted to better me and my kids' lives. But you can't help the way other people treat you, and that's just the truth. You just can't. You can't. One of you, money has strategically been held back from you, but through many shocking series of time events, you're about to get it. Money has strategically been held back from you, but through many shocking series of chain events, you're about to get it. I think your femme energy or masculine takes on heavy femme, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. And I'm just being for real. Um, you're pulling up main female upright with a message upright. Um, they're not your real twin, whoever this person is. Um, it's And somebody of your community is about to come um, give you, deliver you communication about something of the past that happened. I think regarding this false twin or regarding the accomplice that helped them or the jail or something. Um, I heard they tried to publicly humiliate you, but they're about to be publicly humiliated. Well, that's their karma, and that's just the truth. 
and whoever this community member is that's about to come deliver you this information, hopefully they didn't, it's not somebody that treats you terribly. Hopefully not. Hopefully it is somebody that is, does not have premeditated nasty motives in mind. And that's just the truth, um, you know, for greed or selfishness or um, what have you, what have you. I don't know. That's why I have cut off everybody in my past. And I have for years. Years. I've been through this journey raising my kids with full rights and still not having my kids at full rights. I have visitation rights, yes, but I don't have them full time because both of them want to go live with their dad. So I'm still in this journey just now by myself. And it's going to take a lot more work to get my house renovated, a lot more work to get me out of here. But that's okay because my kids are worth it. My kids will have always been my driving force, always been my driving force in life. Anybody that's ever known me, worked with me, um, went to uh, went to college with me, um, my crazy ass family, even though they hate me, they know my kids have been my driving force. And that's just the truth. That's the, that's the truth. Period, point blank, bar none. And they still are. It's just, we're in, we're just away from each other. And, you know, the thing is, they're teenagers. Hopefully, they just will make smart decisions. They will make smart decisions. Um, hopefully, they will just make smart decisions. I mean, I, of course, me and their dad, uh, my ex-husband, he's definitely not my twin. That's for damn sure. And I've known that for forever. I know he ain't my twin. There's a reason we've been divorced so damn long. And that's just the truth. But um, hopefully he will keep an eye on them. And hopefully things will go okay. I mean, but, you know, as much as I want to be there, I can't. Because I'm not his wife. And God knows I'll never want to be married to that man again. And that's just the damn truth. Um, so I can just pray that my kids make good decisions. And hopefully I can get up there, get settled and situated in, and see them more often. And that's just the truth. I mean, I've done right by him, my ex-husband, all these years by raising them properly. So hopefully he will do right by me, but he's never done right by me. So I can't guarantee that. That's just the damn truth. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. But I do worry about my kids uh, and hopefully everything will work out okay. And that's just the truth. But I can't control other people, nor would I want to. And that's just the truth. Okay, we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody uh, have a wonderful day and namaste.